Hi, my name is Anita Foster, and I'm the Library and Media Specialist at Autry Middle School in Kennesaw, Georgia, and I love my job. One of the reasons I love my job is I get to put books in the hands of students, and it is one of my favorite things in the world to do. But, Ms. Foster, we're on virtual learning right now. We can't come to the CLC, but that's okay, because I got you covered. So, here's what we're going to do. You can still check out books. There's several different ways for you to do that. So first of all, I'm going to take you up here to Sora eBooks. You can click on this link and it will take you to Sora. There's an app that will show you how to do it. And we have another library media specialist right here who created a, a video exactly telling you exactly step by step how to add it onto your, um, your device and how to log in. So Sora is a great way to do it. Also, if you go through uh, Cobb D Digital Library, um, there is a Sora app there. And also in Clever, there is a Sora app there. Let me pause this while. So our um, apps, uh, our, our resources in Cobb Digital Library are in alphabetical order. But if I just search up here Sora, it will bring it to the top. And I can click Open Now. It will open the Sora app for me. And I can see all of the books that I have available, audiobooks and ebooks. And here's the cool thing. As you see up here, I am connected to the Cobb County School District. But if I click right here, I can also connect to the Cobb County Public Library System. And they have even a ton more ebooks for me and audiobooks that I can um, can listen to and read. I can sort by subject. And I can go into one of these. So let me just go in. You guys know that I love historical fiction. And um, I actually did read this one. Actually, I listened to it. And it was awesome. It was by Alan Gratz, who um, we just love his books. And all I had to do is once I'm logged in, I just hit borrow. And it, it I can borrow it. So um, that's as easy as it gets. All right, another way that you can do that, I'm going to close this now, and I'm going to close this, and I'm going to stay on my resources page because I want to go to Destiny Discover. It's my third link down. I'm going to click Destiny Discover, and you may have to log in here. Again, it is the same way you log in on your Office 365 account. I just clicked that because I was already logged in on something else. and so as I scroll down, these up here are recently added books. So they're actual books. Um, but if I scroll down, there's eBooks and there's audiobooks. And all I have to do is click on one of these. And then I can play a little bit of it. I can check it out and I can add it as a favorite. So what you would do is you would check it out. So you could do that with both an audiobook, or you can do it. Look, we even have some graphic novels that are ebooks on here. So I'm just going to open this one and just take a look at it and show you. This one you read online. You do not need an app for it. So it only works on the computer or something that can get on the computer. And I can scroll through, and it's a graphic novel. And I'm totally fine with that. I'm going to close the book. And look, I can change this view and change the book option. I can oh, click there and I can check out the book from there. I can make it larger so that I can see the book. I can, instead of making it two pages, I can make it one page. I can ask it to fit it, to fit it uh, horizontally so that it's easier on my old eyes to read. But then I can just scroll down this way. And then I can click, I thought it was, a, there's a little arrow there. There it is. There's the arrow. I had to be up at the top. And I just click that to go to the next page. Then I can scroll down again. And I don't think I even have to go to the top. I just click to go to the next page. Okay. So that is super easy. I'm going to hit that back button again. And I think it opened up a new window on me. It did. It took me out of my Autry CLC. 
And then the other thing I want to show you, this is new. This is brand new. I've got two new things. Um, I, I do want you to go back to, uh, we're going to go back to resources in just a minute. And we're going to go back to Destiny Discover because I forgot to show you something there. But before I do that, I'm going to take you back home because it'll be easier for me to show you this first. Personal book recommendations or personal recommendations. So if you click on this form and you fill this out, put your name in there, your email address in there, or your parents' email address in there. What type of book do you want? A, a fiction, nonfiction, fiction graphic novel, nonfiction graphic novel. And what format do you want the book? Do you want it as a book, an ebook, or an audio book? And then what genre are you interested in? This is when I don't know what I want to read, Miss Foster. Can you pick a book out for me? Yes, I can. So I can select what uh, a book based on what genre you like. I can, I'm asking you to tell me about the books and authors that you like and why. Tell me about the books and authors that you don't like. Tell me about any movies or TV shows that you like or that you don't like. And then do you want a young adult book recommendation? Um, th these young adult books are more mature and have mature situations like language and violence. So if you know your parent will not want you reading a young adult book, then you select no. If you think that, it, and you talk to your parent about this, you have a discussion. I think I'm ready to read some young adult books that are a little bit more mature. Um, Miss Foster actually has on our website information about that, but um, that they can go and they can research what types of books are and why were they made, uh, or why are they considered young adult and stuff like that. That might be something good that you direct them to to let me know if it's okay for you to check out young adult books or if it's not okay. Um, is there anything else we need to know about you and your reading preferences? And then you hit submit. Then I get it into my email and then I pick the book out for you. Okay, so that's another way. You just fill this out and you ask me, say, Miss Foster, can you pick a book out for me? And I will. The other thing that you can do is I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to go to resources. And there's that young adult books page that I was talking about. I'm going to go to resources and we're going to go back to Destiny Discover. And so I'm going to just scroll through here. Here's some newer books or, you know what? I really do like the Rangers Apprentice series and I have not read this one. I don't think I have at least. All I had to do is click on the book and click hold. And then it puts the book on hold for me. I am allowing you, normally you're only allowed to have two books on hold. I've, I've lifted that limit. So I'm letting you put books on hold. So even if it is checked out, so like this one is checked out. Somebody checked it out um, before we went on um, virtual learning in the spring and they just have not returned it yet. You can still hold it. And when the book comes in, then I check it out to you. So there may be a wait list for it, and that's okay. All right? I hope that you guys will use this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Checkout day. Every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m., they're um, distributing food from the cafeteria, and there's information on the school's website on how to sign up for that food and, and everything. Um, you pay for it, um, or it's free. It's depending on uh, if you have free or reduced or you pay full price for the lunches. But they are making uh, up packages for you to be able to have hot food at home all through the school week. So you just have to come and sign up for it every week. And then you pick it up Monday nights from 4 to 6 p.m. Well, while they're picking up food from 4 to 6 p.m., we're going to be out there with our books. And if you check out a book before 9 a.m. on Monday, we will have it ready for you to pick up from 4 to 6 p.m. and we'll send you an email letting you know that the books will be ready for you to pick up in, in our bus port. So if you'll fill out the information or put books on hold, Miss Foster would be more than happy to check those books out to you Monday morning when I get into work and then um, you can pick them up 4 to 6 p.m. Monday evening. And then when you're done with them, you bring them back and we'll have a book return area outside by the bus port where you can drop your books in and then you'll drive on up and then you will um, 
pick up any new books that you want to check out. So I hope that you guys use this service and uh, keep on reading.